Welcome back to what is new in Laravel 7. In this episode, let's discuss the new PHP Artisan test. Now, if you've done any of the TDD stuff with Laravel, you know that PHP unit, it does pretty well. It does give you some nice errors whenever things fall back, but it is all textual. So Laravel 7 includes a brand new helper that'll make your life just a little bit easier. Let's take a look. First of all, if you ran vendor bin PHP unit, this is what you get. We've got three tests, we've got three assertions. That's not bad. However, now if you run PHP Artisan, there's a new one right here, right up here, and it is test. So this will run the same exact PHP unit. However, there's a big difference in the output. Let's check it out. We'll run PHP Artisan test. So check this out. The display now shows you what each of the tests are and what each of the tests inside of those classes are. Pretty cool, right? Let's add another test to this application. Nothing crazy, we'll just add it down here. And we'll say this assert true, we'll pass through false. So obviously it will fail. So there we go. Not only are we getting the fact that this test is failing, but we also get really good syntax right down here on exactly what line it's failing. You even get some code highlighting and everything. It actually looks pretty good. So in comparison, let's show the same exact thing just with PHP unit. This is what you would get. So sure, helpful. You do have the line number and everything else that you would expect, but you don't get the nice preview or anything like that. So again, PHP artisan test, nothing new there, just simply a really nice way to show you your tests. So you'd go in here, let's go ahead and fix this because I think every test should always be at green. And sure enough, there we are. So you have a really nice display. One quick little tip here that I can show you that I do is that I actually have some shortcuts that clear the screen before. Check this out. I have it set up for PHP unit right now. If you run PU for me, it clears the screen right before it runs the test. And all it is is just clear and then and two ampersands. And then we can run PHP artisan test. And you see what that does is it actually clears the screen before you run every single test. And that way it's nice and easy to see. So if you want to do that with yours, you can add that just as an alias. I just have it set up as one of my aliases. Now, another thing about PHP unit artisan test is that if you have groups, you can pass those through. So we'll say group. Let's add a group here to our test suite. Let's add a group right here. I'm not sure if you know this. This is nothing new. This is just simply PHP unit stuff. But we could say group. Uh, let's just call it API, for example. So now here we could say only test the API group. And there it goes. It only tests any tests that have that group name. So you can always have certain things like API group or integration or something like that that you can remove. And then you can also do exclude. And what that'll do is it'll exclude that test. Notice that that test playing around with requests in Laravel 7, that is nowhere in here. It gets excluded. So say that you have a really slow test that you don't need to run all the time. You can put that in a group like so. And then you can simply exclude it every time that you're going to run your test suite. And then it gets skipped. Pretty good workflow for TDD, especially again for those integration tests that are a little bit slower than just your typical quick tests that hit the database or something like that. So with that, we'll go ahead and call it a day. Just a quick one here. Another awesome improvement to Laravel 7 that I think everybody's going to take advantage of. So on the final note, don't forget to listen to the podcast if you have not already, Foreign Devs. And if you have, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button, and until next time, I'll see you later.